What's up, YouTubers? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. And the link for my metronome is in the description below. All right, so you're probably used to hearing me say at the end of every video, I give you the blueprint, but you got to build the house. And one thing that I realized is, even though I'm always encouraging you to take the things I'm teaching you and grow them into something that you can be proud of, I haven't ever showed you the process and at least something that I've done that with. So for this lesson, I wanted to show you what I've done with my favorite world grooves. So I took the traditional PDF Mozambique and then I eventually fellowshiped with it so long and played it so long that I was able to morph it into something that was unique to me and something that fit my style. And that eventually I was proud of, I was like, oh, this is cool. I didn't find this in a book. I didn't find this on a DVD or on a YouTube video. DVD, did I date myself a little bit? YouTube video. I sat down with the traditional rhythms and the traditional information and I grew it into something that I could be proud of. So I'm gonna take you through that process, how I did that, where we started, where we went, and then hopefully by the end of this, you'll be willing to do that with grooves, fills, chops, whatever you're learning. Oh, and thanks for all your responses about the vlog from this studio. I'm just waiting for a new desk. You're not seeing the desk, you're just seeing a little bit of it, but this desk is like Star Trek Jean-Luc Picard futuristic desk. I ordered it 10 years ago and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Got it straight from Scandinavia. It's a little uh, it's a little futuristic and a little silly. So my actual desk gets here today and then once that's here, then I will do the vlog from this place. But for now, let's go learn my variation on this amazing movie. All right, so first, let me just show you what the PDF Mozambique would sound like. This is, and when I say PDF, I mean if you just grabbed a drum book that was like, styles from around the world, and, and you got to the Mozambique chapter, this is probably what you would see written down. And obviously that's amazing on its own, but the whole, you got the blueprint, now you gotta build a house thing. That means that you sit down and you fellowship with this. You play that so many times in a row that boredom kind of takes over and muscle memory is on fire and it's just going and you're like, you know what, what if I did this and what if I did this? And you keep tweaking, you keep seasoning and flavor to taste until all of a sudden you're like, ooh, that's cool, that's cool, and you start to build your own version of this. So as far as what I did to build my own version of this, please know that it was never based on, that would be harder, oh, it'd be way more difficult to do that. It was really sitting with that groove, like I said, fellowshipping with it, waiting until it became a groove environment that I could explore. You know, when you explore a new environment on day one, you don't go very far. You go outside the hotel and you're like, uh, right, left, cool, go back in the hotel. Day two, day three, day four, all of a sudden you're walking down streets and you're like, you know what, I'll take a left here, I'll take a right here. You explore that environment. I do the same thing with grooves. I play them so much and so many times in a row that I start to have the freedom to explore without fear. So with this, the first thing I changed was I swapped that left foot from downbeats to upbeats. So instead of one, two, three, and a four, and dang, dang, dun, dun, gang, but do, chuck it, dick, dang, dang, dun, dun, jump, but do, gang. I went to dang, dang, do, go, dang, but do, gang. Gives it a little more life, right? A little more energy. So we're going away from the Afro-Cuban thing of the downbeats and we're bringing in that Brazilian samba, bio, bossa nova, left foot part to get that upbeat energy going. So that's the first thing I did. The next thing I did was I added more bass drum. So I took the three side of the clave, shave, hair, cut, 10 bucks, one, two, three, one, two. So I took the three side of a three, two sewn clave and I brought that in on the bass drum. So instead of this, I went to, what? Hey. So before we get too crazy, let's just get used to that with the right hand Mozambique bell pattern and that new foot pattern. Now the left hand part of the PDF Mozambique would be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and. And for any of you that learn this in eighth notes, nothing changes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. 
for. It's honestly up to the author of whatever text you're reading to decide whether they're gonna write in 16th notes or 8th notes. Most people would feel this traditionally as 8th notes, and then if you grew up in like funk music, you probably feel it in 16th notes, but in the end, it's the exact same thing. Like I said, whether it's one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a, or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, same thing. You do need to know though, if you're ever working with a director or a conductor or a musical director, you do need to know how they feel it. Cause if they go one, two, one, two, three, and you go, what are you gonna do? And they're like, whoa, 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 eighth notes. Oh, one and two and three. All right, so what I did with the left hand part is I added in one extra cross stick on the E of one, and then I kept the two tom hits, both of them I kept on the rack tom, but in the same place. So now we have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So if we put all of that together without any crazy orchestration, it sounds like this. So that's almost everything that makes it Mike's Mozambique. It makes it something that I can be truly proud of. Like, no, I sat down, I fellowshipped, I explored the environment, not three. I explored the environment and then I really put in the time to find something that I can be proud of. So keep in mind, it's up to you to do this. Now, if you learn this groove from me, then it's up to you to do the same thing that I did. You have to sit with it for so long that you eventually start to come up with your own variations. I mean, that's really the key is having your variation on this so that I hear you play it and I'm like, oh, what the heck was that? And you're like, actually, it's based off of your video. And it's like, oh man, it's so cool that you grew it into something that you can be proud of. All right, so just to recap what I did to make this my own, flipped the left foot to the upbeats, brought in a couple extra bass drums, added an extra cross stick, took the melody from rack and floor to just rack, and then really what makes it me, I guess, is the fact that I've got my snares off and I'm playing the bell part on an open snare. And from there on out, I'm just moving this stuff around. If you heard, you know, if you can really sing the right hand part in your head, dang, dang, do, do, dang, 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 the movement and the orchestration that's making it sound so musical. And when we put it all together, it sounds like this. much as I want you to learn this groove, this groove is not the lesson. The lesson is what I go through, the process I go through to make something uniquely me and make it something that I can be proud of. And I also can't change it so much that I lose the heritage of where it came from in the first place. And that's what I'm always asking you guys to do at the end of my videos. Hey, I gave you this fill. Please don't play it exactly how I played it. Learn it and then grow it into something uniquely you. So I will say it one last repetitive ass time. I give you the blueprint, you gotta build the house. Hope you enjoyed this. Check out Mike's lessons for a ton more stuff just like this. You can find this groove, variations of this groove, Wah Wah Co, variations of Wah Wah Co, Mambo, Samba, everything, and a bunch of other stuff. So see you guys next time, bye.